Traders, how you doing? Tom Willard here with part three of the technical analysis um, course video series here. Um, today we're going to cover uh, a number of things, and I have to cover more things. This is going to be a longer video only because we need more concepts here to explain um, what I want to teach you here today. So the first thing is we're going to focus on retracements. Okay, Retracements uh, are a pattern uh, or a happening, if you will, in a chart which um, can induce a, a, uh, the opportunity to enter a trade. So I'm going to talk about retracements. Um, and in order to do it correctly, I need to talk about pivot points as well as Fibonacci retracement levels. And I know that's a, a, a big mouthful. I'm going to make it very simple for you because I, I want to keep it simple. And there's, and, and there's no reason to make it any more complicated and waste brain power on definitions and, um, on, for example, the Fibonacci stuff. So I'm going to show you what I use, and then you can take with it, um, take, take away from it what you like. Okay? First thing we need to find is retracements, which is the main goal of this video. Um, a retracement is simply a move of a stock, okay, against the trend, okay. It's a move back against the trend. So you know, in general, okay, the general rule is that you want to trade with the trend. You want to go long in an uptrend, and you want to go short in a downtrend, okay. Now there's a lot of stocks that have been downtrending as of late, so I'm giving you more examples to that. But um, first solar here. On the 15-minute chart, you'll see that it started here. It was going sideways, and then it started a downtrend here on September 30th. Came down pretty hard, and then it came back up and worked its way down. Now, each one of these little these little pop-ups here, that's a retracement. Okay, and so if you trade retracements, you can look to you say so. So you typically don't want to just get short because you think the downtrend's coming. You have to have a, a reasonable pattern to give you an edge. Okay, to where prices have corrected enough. To where you got a, a, a reasonable reward or risk to your next target to play within that trend. And so one of the patterns, you know, I talked to you about uh, breakouts in part one. Um, another pattern is the retracements, okay? So this is a retracement. It's just a move back up against the, here's the downtrend, the move back up, okay? Move back up. That's a retracement. This is a retracement here, okay? This is a retracement here. This is a retracement here. Okay, and you can see it goes down and it actually kind of bottoms out. And um, let me just put it right there. It, it bottoms out, comes back up, and then settles in. The moving averages cross over. Now, this here is the 20-period simple moving average and the 40-period simple moving average. You can see them right here. Okay? So, that is a retracement. Now, you can also have, uh, that's in a downtrend, right? And in, in an uptrend, like this Autodesk, right, on the 15-minute chart, you can see it's, it came up off these lows, went in an uptrend. You can see a very crisp, clean retracement here. Okay? So if you were playing retracements, you would be looking to buying on on this pullback. But you know, in a sense, buying the inventory at a cheaper price instead of chasing it when it's up a, a ton of bars. Let it come back, and when it comes back, okay, buy it with a with a reasonable stop and a reasonable target that makes sense, and that's how you play this game. Okay, if you're playing retracements. Now the next question then becomes, well, okay, so where do I buy it in the retracement? Okay. Well, just by definition, or, or short it, okay, so in this particular case, just by definition, what you would do is you would buy it, okay, above the last candle high here at 56.65, and your stock would be at the low, 56.43. So a, a very garden variety, plain Jane <laughs> entry on a pullback or a retracement. This is a, it could also be construed as a pullback, but I just call them all retracements because they're retracements against the trend is you take that last bar if you're playing on that certain time frame and you buy above the high and stop the low, okay? But there's some other factors that come into it, okay? Now, on first solar, let's go back here to the um, 15. So you can see here on this particular retracement, you'd be shorting it under 66.19 with a stop at 66.46, okay? Now, I do it penny by penny. I don't always do that, okay? And I, I suggest you guys watch because a lot of times what you might want to do is give it a little room on the stop side at least, so in this particular case, I may go 66.55, 66.51 as my stop, as opposed to 46, okay, to give it a little bit more room and cushion, because a lot of times these things will um, just barely shake out past those pivot points and move down. Which brings me to my next subject, pivot points, okay? A pivot point is simply a point on the chart where the pre a low pivot is where the bar to the left and the right of the, the, the candle in question has higher lows. So you see this is clearly a pivot low. Okay, this is clearly a pivot high because it's got lower highs to each side. This bar here isn't a pivot low because it's got a lower low to the left. Okay, so you can clearly see the pivots pretty easy. Here's one, here's a high pivot, here's another low pivot. 
Okay, another high pivot, another low pivot, another low pivot. Okay, another high pivot. Okay, and you can see this thing pivoting and moving down. You see that basically through this downtrend, you can see lower highs in general. Okay, and lower lows. Okay, which defines a downtrend. Higher highs and higher lows on the uptrend. Okay, so that is a pivot point. Okay, so now you've defined, we've defined retracements, we've defined pivots. Okay, so what's next? We're going to talk about retracement levels. Okay, Fibonacci retracement levels, um, you can even throw the Fibonacci out. Let's just talk about retracement levels and what we're looking at. Okay, so if you've got a strong downtrend, okay, typically your retracement, any strong trend really, your retracements should not go deeper than 50%. Now, what I'm talking about is how you measure these, how I measure these, is a pivot to pivot. So, I'll look here and say, okay, this is a pivot point here, okay, right here, 63. In fact, let me get my drawing tool out. Um, trend tool, let's go move that out of the way. Um, let's go horizontal for now. Okay, so here's a pivot move, okay? So you see it move from this price to this price, around what, I'm just going to eyeball, 67.60 maybe to 65.30, okay? From this pivot point here. Okay, down to this one here. All right. Now this here retraced to this level here. So you could see that. See this. The, the distance between this can this line, and this line, and this line. It's about 50%, is it not? Right from the from the tail to the tail. Okay. So 50% is a very now not because of this example. Okay, 50% is a very common acceptable retracement level so when you're looking to trade these retracements so if you were watching this first solar let me clear these now okay and say you were jonesing to go short on this bad boy okay and now if you're if you, you know you, you don't act like you've been here before you don't act like an idiot and start chasing crap which a lot of rookies do so my goal is to hopefully get you not to do that start going down you go, oh i gotta short it you short it here okay no this is not a pattern it's extended morons short here okay don't do it, okay? You, you may get away with it for a while, but um, if you don't have a proper reward or risk, you don't have a proper stop and reward, and you've got statistics to back that up. You know, if you've got statistics to back up chasing something like this, maybe you're going on a smaller time frame. Again, I'm just focusing on the 15 here. we got to keep it simple, okay? Um, then that's fine. Let your stats drive you. Don't let me tell you what to do. But what I'm going to say is that in general, if you chase stuff like this, you're asking for some punishment, okay? So what do we do? Well, if you're like me, you say, hey, let's look for a retracement. Hey, well, you know, let's, let's try this retracement thing, right? So let me get rid of this here, and let me go back to my uh, info tool. Okay, so she's down. Okay, still okay, great, fine, whatever. Okay, now she's retracing. Okay, now you know. You can say, okay, well, now you've got a pivot here. As soon as this bar completes, you've got a pivot. So you've got a low at 65.31, high at 67.63. Okay, so that's 67.63, 66. 63, 65, 63. Okay, so that's $2.30. Okay, $2.30. Divide that by two, so let's say a buck ten. So a buck ten off this low should be about the halfway point, which is 65, 66.40. So you're saying, okay, I want to play the half, the 50% retracement level. I'm going to look and let it see if it retraces up to that area and if it sets up for me. Okay, oh my goodness, look, it just did it right there. So I went a little bit too fast. Okay, it came up, look at this, it kissed off of 66.45, 50% of the move. So now you can start looking and say, okay, well, like I talked about earlier, where's your entry point? Well, now it's retraced about 50%. You can say, okay, well, I'm going to short this as 66.18, put my stop limit order in for short 66.18, maybe a limit at 66.13, stop at 66.46 to 66.51 to 66.60, whatever you want, okay? Um, now, there's a lot of other concepts I'm going to talk about, voids, et cetera, later, but just talking about the, the mechanics of getting into an, a retracement play. So you get in there, and you're in, okay? And then you're looking to, to take it for a ride, okay? Now, you'll notice it retraces again here, okay? And, and again, anything can happen. You can see here that things were pulling back and, and couldn't go and retracing and couldn't go. So you've got to have stops. You can't just assume, well, heck, it, it retraced 50%. I got in. I don't need to stop. It's going to work. No, 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 no. Famous last words. Okay. You got to take your stops. Okay. This could have failed. There's no guarantees, but you've got to track it over a statistically significant sample and continue to track your edge and see how it works. This one would have worked pretty well if you stuck with it. Now, management techniques, that's another um, subject for later. Okay. 
um, can help you maximize profits through here. But you can see the lower highs. So you can say, well, each time it retraces, if you look at this pivot move from here to here, right, how much of this did it retrace? Well, I mean, if you look at uh, 45 to 47, say a dollar, and it went all the way up to um, 18, which is it went around 70. So it was about a 60, 60 to 70 percent retracement, if not more, of this particular move here, right? So the question is, well, what's good, Tom? Is it is it 50? Is it is it is it 70? Okay. As a general rule of thumb, okay, general rule of thumb, you want to be looking between I'd say 35 to say 70. Okay, 30 to 70 percent retracements. Okay, those are typically your shoes. So, however, I will do 100 percent retracements and make a lot of money on those. Okay, in certain situations, capitulations, um, volatile situations where the market and the stock, maybe there's something going on in the sector or the particular stock. Um, oftentimes, those 100 percent, 120 percent retracements, where most of the courses out there will teach you, no oh, taboo, don't go against that, don't go against retracements. Like I will find that. Those will be actually even more lucrative. So in certain situations, but again, I'm teaching the, the, the basics around retracements here. You want to be shooting for that middle range, that sweet spot between, say, 30 and 70%. Okay? Um, that's where you want to be looking for in your retracements. Something shallow, okay? something that retraces 10%. Well, think about it. If you're only retracing 10% or 5%, what is that really? It's really just is a base or a flag right? in most cases. Um, and so those situations will be a little bit, um, you know, kind of like the 100% retracements. You gotta, you've got to take those in regards to the entire situation that you're viewing, okay? Um, and you can trade them. But again, from a general trend perspective, here's an example of one. And you're not always going to get the retracements, right? This, this one here came down, pivot to pivot. Say this, this pivot here. I mean, there's a pivot here, okay? But if you go from uh, 73.17 to 74.92, right, 73, 74, 74, almost about a $2 move, and it only went up um, 60 cents, okay? So, you know, you have a 30% retracement here, 25% retracement, and then it went down. So this one in particular case, it just barely maybe got to that 30% threshold if you're looking for that range, okay? Um, this is an example of a shallow retracement that really – rocked and it didn't give you look at this it's really not much in retracements here here's your little one here okay which in the grand scheme of things is, isn't much okay but those can work when you get a momentum move any of these little retracements okay if you're on the smaller time frames as long as you're managing your reward to risk you can take advantage of them firing on them even though they're extended and when they're extended there's a higher odds okay that you may get sh shook from the tree you may get stopped out but again stops are get, taking a loss is no big deal okay hopefully you can get your to that point and if not work on it to where if you could take a loss in stride it's really not a big deal it shouldn't be okay it shouldn't be a big deal at all now this is an interesting one caterpillar caterpillar here you can see off this top here this is the daily chart it's come down and has it given any retracements to get in on no right it's been nothing but down, 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 down. No retracements, just overlapping bars and garbage. And we're going to get a lot of, you're going to see a lot of garbage. But now you see the 60 kind of smooths it out more. Okay, you can see the downtrend, but you don't see a whole lot of clean retracements. Okay, here's a pop up there. There's a pop up there. Let's go down to 15 and take a look. Okay, so now this is a little bit better. You got a short crossover here, right? Where you've got about a, uh, two days where you've got a pretty good downtrend, right? Move down. There's a short retracement there. Down, retracement. Okay. Down, retracement, down. Okay, this this one here failed. You can see that if you would have gotten in here and put your stop here, you would have been stopped out. And then it went down. Okay, another little retracement failed there too. Okay, so the ones that succeeded here, okay, here, uh, this is a little uh, what I call a minor pivot play where it pops up and then it comes right back down. Gives you a little bit of a pivot and comes down. Okay, this one here worked pretty well too. Okay, and this in a sense is triple top here, here, and here. Okay, um, came down. Okay, so Caterpillar here showed some decent opportunities. Now, this is a pretty steep move up, okay, and that's another point um, where people say, well, if it's really steep, it's more dangerous. It is. It can also be quite lucrative. Again, go back to managing your risk. Reward or risk, if it makes sense, take a shot. Just make sure you take your stops, okay? But from a Fibonacci retracement level, you got 33 to 80, and you can look here. I mean, if you look at this, it's probably about a 70%, 80% retracement, okay, but it worked. Okay. Again, sweet spot's about 30 to 70, typically what you're looking for. 
Okay, and anything um, not as steep as or not as deep as 30 percent, then you're talking probably more bases. And in a strong trend, those can work really well. Okay, and then in ones with that that violently retrace back 100 percent, 110 percent, those can work too in the right environment. But they're much more advanced. Okay, and it's something that I've actually developed on my own um, later on through experience, basically, not through um, through any coursework uh, that I had been exposed to or books. Now, here, take a look at AUY, and a lot of the golds are like this. No retracements whatsoever. Here, you've got a base, which I talked about in part one, right? You've got a base right there. Came down, based here at support. Okay, short under the low, stop under the high, or over the high, not under the high. Been a nice run down, but no retracements, okay? So, you won't always get retracements, but it's a great way to get on a trend. You don't want to be chasing. Like, you know, this has been moving down nonstop. The only legitimate entry here on this chart, in my opinion, is this breakdown here at this base. Okay? That's it. Otherwise, it goes without you. So, if you're on vacation this day, you missed it, again, you just sit there and you, 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 you lie in the grass and you stalk. Know what you're looking for. If you're a retracement player, look for those retracements to play. Okay? If you don't get them, you don't fire on them. And then, of course, you've got to take into account... Um, the uh, reward risk is a huge part of it, okay? So, I hope you found this video helpful as we talked about, again, retracements, um, proper entries of basic retracements as well as pivots, um, how those are, made, are, are, uh, are identified as well as the FIB retracement levels. And again, shooting for that 30 to 70% range, ideally, um, if you want, if the trend is going to stay. Now, again, trends, you know, um, <laughs> you don't know the trend's over for sure until the trend's over. Okay, so trends can last for a long time. Trends can last for a very short time. You can get a lot of sporadic whip like this, up and down, right? Sideways, it's trying to go up, trying to go up, and then it turns and goes right back down. On a larger time frame, right, this weekly chart, you can see the weekly chart of AUI has been in a downtrend for a while. Okay, but within this downtrend, there have been little uptrends on the 15s and 5s, um, right? Some nice uptrends here in the 15 on the smaller time frames. You can get uh, some decent run on the long side. It depends on the time frame you're trading. But you see overall the trend's down. This thing's busting now below the lows. Okay, if you saw my video from a few weeks ago around Newmont, I was talking about how it was a great long idea. And you can see it held up here. Okay, it popped, got in, and it got out. It stopped me out. Okay, and now it's working its way back down. Like I said um, a couple weeks ago when I did the last video on this, I think it was a couple weeks ago, it might have been two weeks ago. Um, that I think this is, you know, uh, what I'd like to see is it go down and test this 2079 area. Okay, it's been moving, it's been working its way down here pretty nicely. Okay, I'd love to see it breach this area here, come all the way down and set it down this area. Now you got something like, I was just showing you AUY, which is a lot more weak. You can see the relative weakness there. Okay, now you're seeing the concepts from part two of the technical analysis. GG, let's take a look at that one. That's also down here to support. ABX. Okay, also a little bit weaker. Let's look at the, the ETF, GDX. Okay, also down here pretty good, right down the net support area. Newmont's showing strength to these at this point in time, okay? But I'd like to see a drain out, a flush out here um, before entertaining these golds, gold miners um, uh, on the long side. And on the short side, we're too far down, okay? Unless you got short earlier, um, this, this, this thing, this ship has sailed. And look, no retracements here either. It's been pretty much a straight down move, okay? And this is what was talked about, again, another concept, of catching the, trying to catch the falling knife. You know, a lot of people are trying to call bottoms in here, and like I said in the video, I said, look, let, let it go down. Let it go down. If it, if, it, if it turns around and starts an uptrend, you'll get an opportunity, okay? You'll typically get an opportunity. Could it go straight up like it's gone straight down here and not give you a nice chance to get it? Yes, that's possible. But there are always other stocks in the sector that may give you better opportunities. So you've got to be looking, be vigilant, and don't be desperate. Sit back, wait, relax. Okay. So retracements, a great way to enter trades. Looking at uh, retracement levels between 30 and 70 percent of the pivot move um, is the general thing. And of course, you know, obviously there's, there's there's exceptions to the rule, and some of them are very lucrative exceptions to the rule, uh, which I will cover in detail uh, at a future date. With that, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. And um, if you have any questions, always feel free to holler at me. Tom at TomWillardTrading.com. Have a great week.